Hello, I'm talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you. Oh, uh, uh, well, let me tell you. Why is it that no one is listening to you? Why is it that the things that you want are not happening? Why is it that you are stuck? You know why? Because you are still living in your past. And when you live in your past, it's like you are talking backwards. You're trying to supposedly live in the present, but no one understands what you are saying because you keep reminiscing in the past. You keep remembering and taking out all the garbage from your past into the present. And that's the reason why everyone is having a hard time understand what you need, understanding where you want to go, understanding what you are doing and how they can help you because you keep going back to the past. You keep comparing your past to your present and you keep focusing on the wrong things. And that's what I want to talk about today. I want you to understand how you can overcome living in the past. We will be right back. ¿Quién no se equivoca? Humans make mistakes. Porque recordemos que todos somos humanos. Hello, hello, my friends. This is your faithful friend, Sandra Graves. And today, I want to talk to you about that, that that I was talking about, your past. And I know you have heard this topic before. And everybody tells me that I have to stop living in the past. But you know what? Maybe you don't understand why is it that they're telling you that. Maybe everybody is telling you not to live in the past, but they're not explaining to you why. Maybe you have not really figured out why you should not live in the past because sometimes when we live in the past it feels good it feels that the people that hurt us if we hold on to the past we are hurting them it feels that if someone have caused you wrong or someone said something against you if you hold on to what they say and you prove them wrong that means that you are overcoming challenges, that you are being successful. That's what you are thinking. You are also thinking that I am going to prove to them that they were wrong. So you hold on to the past. Other times we hold on to the past because we have done so many wrong things. We have made so many mistakes, especially me. And we do not know how to move on because we don't believe that we deserve a better life. We have wronged so many people. We have hurt so many people. We have destroyed so many lives that we believe we don't deserve more. But let me tell you, that is not the truth. Your thinking is just called guilt. It's called resentment. It's called unforgiveness. And although this is not going to be a religious topic, I am going to be telling you sharing with you some of the things that I learned about letting go of my past because let me tell you let me give you an example when I first met my husband um we met in the club okay yeah because I love to dance salsa merengue cumbia bachata oh, oh, I love dancing why and when I met him you know I saw this Turkish guy saw me because we lived the reality is that I did not really look at him he looked at me well that is what I think right and when I am reenacting or telling someone, like I'm telling you, the story of how I met my husband, um, I am really excited because I am telling my point of view. Well, he was the one who looked at me. I wasn't really interested in him because he was like, he had messy hair. He didn't really look that good. He was smoking. He was like everything that I didn't want. But then, you know, and I keep telling my story about my past. But one day, I decided, after we were married, I really wanted to find out what was he thinking. Like, why did he look at me? Like, was I the looking that sexy? Hmm. Was I that hot? Like, was he like in love with me at first sight? You know, like that, right? So I asked him to see, to compare 
what is it that he was thinking and what I was thinking. It wasn't nothing close to what I had. Everything that I thought of, he didn't think about. It was totally different. And the contrary, I thought that he was coming off to me. He thought that I was coming off to him because we had a friend in common and my friend kind of worked out some things where she made it believe that he was interested in me and he thought that the, his friend told him that I was, it, it was a mess. But up to this day, I was holding on to that past that was wrong. The whole story was just what I have concluded in my mind, but it wasn't the reality. It was my reality, and guess what? When I tried to compare my reality to his reality, I was disappointed. Because at first, I was so excited. I thought I was all that in the bag of chips. And this white guy, he was so interested in me. You know, la negra tiene tumbao. She had some sexy moves and all that. He was not looking at none of that. <laughs> it was all in my head. And he thought that I was all over him because he's hot and tall and whatever. And I wasn't interested. So it was by the grace of God. But neither one of us was right. Something happened in between. And it wasn't the truth. And why is it that I'm telling you this? Is that many times we hold on to the past and we are wrong. How many times did you believe that you were right about something and you did it wholeheartedly and you did it with passion and you tell everybody I'm going to stand up for this and then you were wrong. It happened all the time. And I am telling you this because I am trying to explain to you that you cannot change your past. You cannot change what you did, what they did to you, what happened, even if you want it. So a lot of the times, instead of focusing on what you should do, you should focus on what you could do better. You cannot fix the past. I learned that the hard way. Don't matter how much I try to change, don't matter how much I try or I do my best to become a better, better version of myself, I'm never going to change who I was because that person was different. Even though that person had long hair and all that kind of stuff, that person was different. That person had a different belief system. That person that I was saw the world with a different set of eyes. My bifocals in those days was very different. It was very narrow like this. Now I am much more expanded and I can see beyond what is in front of me. And that's the reason why I am telling you that whatever it is that you're experiencing now, remember you are not who you were. You are who you determined to be right now. No one can make that decision for you. Okay? So you have to remember that. You have to remember. This is my um, my messages here. Um, you have to remember that you are not your past. Don't matter how much it hurts. Don't matter how much you like it or dislike it. You are not your past. You are everything that you decide to be right now. Every day I have to tell myself that. Because the reality is, is that sometimes when we have those moments that can be overwhelming or those times where we have difficult things happening in our life, our past want to get through the window or through a little hole that we keep open. You know, like a little crack in the in the fence our past want to get through and when if we let it through what happens is that it destroys us because we start comparing ourselves again to them what if i have done this what if i was a different person if i only knew this well guess what you don't you didn't know it everything that you know now is because you have that past your past was not a punishment. Your past is a lesson. 
And you have to be able to understand that that's what your past is. It is just a lesson. And, and to I didn't understand that my past was a lesson, I was not be able to learn anything. Because all I felt was guilt and guilt and guilt and guilt. And every time I remember what I did, what I said, the people I hurt, the people that hurt me, my jobs, the way I reacted in some of the jobs that I had, some of the way the people treated me in some of the jobs that I had, some of the ways that I was as a mom, some of the ways that I was in my past relationship. When I think about all that, it's like I could have been better. I could have done better. I could have taught better, but I couldn't. Why? Because I wasn't there. So I want to tell you that please, 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 please stop being so hard on yourself. Stop being so hard on yourself. We need to focus. You know, I have a song um, that I put together um, in Spanish. And the song really says, I... I'm not my future. I am not my past. I am everything that I am today. Because my future is not here and my past is already gone. And all I have is today. And that's what I am telling you. All you have is today. What is it that you can do today better than yesterday? Not just fall, fall away in your path better than yesterday. Every day, you should focus on doing something better than you did the day before, than you did an hour ago. You always need to focus on right now what you can do because that is what you're, is going to determine if you are going to live the life that you want to live. The life that you want to live is not in yesterday. The life that you want to live is not in tomorrow. The life that you want to live, it is in the right now. Because everything that you do right now, if you make it tomorrow, you are going to reap what you sow. You are going to reap. And if you didn't do anything, if you didn't become a better you today, then tomorrow, what is it that you're going to get? Nothing. But if, it, if you give the best that you can today, guess what? Tomorrow you're going to have a harvest of great things happening for you. And that's what I want to remind you. I want to remind you that you deserve the best. But the only way you're going to be getting the best is if you believe it. Let me try to turn this off. It seems like it keep making noise here. Okay, let's see. So that is the only way that you are going to be able to enjoy what you deserve, which is the best. And let me tell you, regrets are very toxic. Regrets, they keep you focusing on what you should have done and what they did to you. That's what regrets is. Regrets said I shouldn't have dated him. Regrets said I shouldn't have studied that. Regret said I should have listened to my parents. Regret said I shouldn't have had sex with that guy. Regret said I shouldn't have stolen money. Regret said I shouldn't have quit. Regret said maybe I should have given more. But no matter how much you regret what you did, you can't change it. And that's the reason why instead of regretting, you got to accept it's already done. It's a done deal. And nothing you can do right now can change it. Even if that person that you hurt was right beside you, there's nothing you can do. No amount of money, time, or nothing. Nothing, nothing that you can do to make up for it. Nothing. The best way that you can do, though, what you can do, what you have done, is move on and that is the hard part it's being able to move on and it all takes it's just a decision that you have to make just one little decision 
to move on. And that's the hard part. Because why is it that we have a hard time making that decision to move on? <laughs> it's because we feel that if we move on, we have not been punished enough. We feel that how is it that we can move on and the people that we hurt are still hurting? Why is it that the people that hurt us can move on and we are still hurting? Vice versa. And the only thing that you have to decide is to let it go. At Zima, you get high quality services for less than your monthly cell phone bill. It's perfect for individuals who do not have health insurance or who have a high deductible in their health insurance plan. Prompt and same day appointments for sick visits. Unlimited office sick visits without a copay. Your satisfaction is our only objective, so please don't hesitate to contact us and let us show you all the amazing options we have for you. Bueno, 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 le dijo la mula al freno, and welcome, welcome, welcome back. This is your faithful friend Sandra Graves, and let me tell you that if you hold on to the past, you are not going to have space to create a better future. A lot of people find themselves holding on to the past, and they're trying to figure out why is it that things are not happening for me? Why is it that I cannot get the things that I want? Okay, you have your hand open, right? And your hand is open like this, but all that is happening is that you are holding on to your past right here. And you're not allowing anything else to come in because you doubt everything else that is around you. So you need to let it go. Let it go. Let it go. You need to just let it go. Let go. And when you let go, you allow new things to come into your life. You can actually... You know, like when you are on the computer and you can slide a, fi uh, a file, slide a file to the trash, right? And then you can try to slide another file into the whatever bin that you want and organize them correctly. Well, that's what you have to do. Some thoughts of your past, they are beautiful. And something that sometimes you want to go back and remember because you want to think, yeah, I did a damn good job, right? But there's some things in your past that you really don't care to continue to remember because they only hold you back. And what you do, mm, you just take that file, mm, delete, delete, because you cannot allow the past to imprison you. You cannot allow your past to hold you down. You cannot allow your past to destroy your mind. Because then it will destroy your family. It will destroy your opportunities. It will destroy your relationship. It will destroy your career. It will destroy everything that you work hard for. Everything. Sometimes I, I had found myself um, in the past trying to move forward. And I haven't been able to, because as soon as I'm excited about moving forward, there comes that person that abused me sexually. Or there comes that person that said something bad about me. And those people that said that I would never make it, ha, 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 I'm going to show you. Look at me now, right? So when we have those thoughts, it's hard for us to enjoy the moment. It's hard for us to enjoy our success because we have this victim mentality that doesn't allow us to move forward because we are looking for someone to feel pity for us. We are looking to to have um, um, someone feel, oh my God, you have been so much through so much challenges in your life. Life has been so difficult to you. Okay, yes. Life has been difficult to you and it has been difficult to me. So what now? What you going to do about it? Move on. Move on. And when I was tired of complaining, when I got tired of getting pity parties, when I got tired of having my name in everybody's mouth, I actually got tired. 
because I was holding on to the past. And when we hold on to the past, it doesn't give us peace. There is no peace in the past. Because when you live in the past, you can enjoy the present moment. Doesn't matter if your past is beautiful. Guess what? Let's say you are one of those people that had the perfect life, right? And now you don't. And you think of, oh, I remember when I was rich and my parents were so perfect. They took me to the clouds and I jumped from cloud to cloud. I remember when I could smell the roses. I remember when I could go on my bike. I remember when I was digging for gold and I could get any of the coins that I wanted. If that's what's your life and you don't have it now, you are in deep doo-doo. Because you are not going to be able to achieve any of that because you are living in it. You are living in the past and it's not going to help you create the future that you want because there are not going to be any steps, any goals, any desire, only procrastination. Because you're going to think that everything that you have, had, 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 H-A-D, had, in the past was better than anything you have now. And if you believe that everything that you had before is better than what you have now, huh, some people believe, what's the point? But the point is, is that you stop focusing on the past and what you had, then you're gonna be able to create something even greater than what you had. What you should be focusing on is that you should be thankful that your experience a wealth of gold, a wonderful house, parents that was amazing, to be able to travel and have that love and nobody abuse you, if that's what your life. Be thankful. Move forward and see what else you can do. If life gave you that amazing experience that most of us do not have, then be thankful. Stop regretting. Stop crying over spilled milk. But if your life has been like most of us, where we have experienced abuse, abandonment, poverty, hate and anger, we have made so many mistakes. We have been spiteful and hateful and resentful and revengeful and full of everything. If you are like one of us, then you need to forgive yourself. Then you need to let go of the garbage. Then you need to come to the understanding that nothing, nothing, nothing that you do is going to change your life. Nothing that you do is going to change your life if you continue to hold on to your past. Nothing that you do is going to make it better for you. If you continue to hold on to your past, it's not gonna it's not gonna change anything. You're not going to have peace, and you're not going to have a better life if you continue to focus on the past. You know, you might not be always able to control your feelings, but you can control your thoughts and once you control your thoughts your feelings are going to change that is something that i learned sometimes um just example like last year i was in so much pain physically and i, I find it very hard to to um alleviate my pain Nothing worked. But then, when I decided, you know, I was so thankful that I am alive. I was so thankful that I have an amazing husband. I was so thankful that I have friends that love me. I was so thankful that I have a God that is amazing. I was so thankful that I have kids that adore their mom. Thank God. I was so thankful to have a sister that adores me and a mom that respects me and is proud of me 
I was so thankful to be who I am that although I've been through so much and I can't believe that I make it this far, I was so thankful. So I've decided, you know what, with pain or without pain, I am going to be thankful. I'm going to move on. I'm going to stop complaining and I'm going to start enjoying. And if I have pain, I'm going to stop complaining to people about it and telling people, I have a headache. I have this. I have that. And once I stop doing that, once, <clears throat> sorry, hold on. I got to drink this. And once I stop doing that, guess what happened? I was actually able not to feel so much pain. The pain is still there. And we're still trying to figure out where the pain is coming from. From my head, from my heart, from my ears. Where is it coming from? Why is it taking place? But I am not waiting anymore. I'm moving forward. I'm moving on. And why am I telling you this? Is that yes, there is pain in your life. There is experiences that you have in your life and you cannot change it. But you cannot sit down on that pain like a, you know, a barking dog that is sitting on a nail and just complaining. Oh, oh come on. how is it that, 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 that I don't even know how dogs do. Oh, oh, I don't know how dogs do. But, you know, just imagine a dog sitting on a nail complaining instead of standing up and taking that nail out of the butt and moving forward and even if it hurts because it's not going to just go away immediately you're going to have that wound in your behind like the dog and it might get a little messy and it's going to heal little by little and you have to give it some time but it's a decision that you have to make to move on to not allow the past to imprison you to not allow the people in the past to imprison you. To be able to enjoy today, 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 today. As soon as you wake up, you say, thank you. As soon as you wake up, you say, who are the important people in my life? Why am I doing the things that I'm doing? Why am I motivated to do what, when, how? Those are the kind of things you need to be thinking about instead at complaining and suffering for things that you already suffer. Because one thing that people that live in the past do is that they keep reliving the past over and over and over and over again. And that's the reason why it's hard to connect with people that live in the past. Because when you are talking to them about the present, you can't understand them because they are talking about the past. And they bring it up in all different ways. And you are totally confused. I thought you were over that already. But you don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand what they did to me. I may never understand what they did to you. And it doesn't matter. It, not that I'm saying that I, f I don't feel for you. That what you experience. But it doesn't matter. To me because I have my life. It needs to matter to you that you need to move on. It needs to matter to you that there is a life that you can enjoy now. It needs to matter to you that the past is not here and you have all the tools in your hand, in your mind, in your life to be able to take action right now. Right now. And it's all up to you. So you can continue to try to find people to feel sad for you, to feel sorry for you. You can continue to try to find people that have the same pain like you and have a pity party. You can continue to hold on to your past. But let me tell you that forever you are going to stay stuck in the past. Try to stay away from those people that 
are always thinking like you about the past. Look for people that are enjoying their present, that are looking forward to doing the best that they can. Because if you continue to hang out with losers, you become a loser. But if you continue to find people that are victorious, perhaps they used to be victims, but now they have chosen to be victorious, find people like that to hang out with. And you're going to see that you're going to have a better life. So there's three things, um, three things that I want you to remember. In order, um, like I put in the title here, how to live the life you want. And let me tell you, the best way to live the life you want is by making a decision to do that. Making a decision about who do you want to be remembered? What kind of life you want to live? Are you going to be a smiley person every day? A person that is grateful or a person that is hateful? Do you want to be a person that is victorious or you want to be known as a victim? You make that decision every day. Because it doesn't mean that you are not going to have challenges. But like I said, the days that you have challenges... If you make your past to come through the crack, you're going to be in trouble. So right now, you have to make a decision not to live in the past. If your ex-boyfriend hurts you, forgive him. If your mama hurts you, if your daddy hurts you, if your teacher hurts you, if the pastor hurts you, you feel hurt by God, forgive. So, Number one, let go of guilt. Let go of guilt. If you continue to feel guilty because you were a victim or because you feel that you could have been a better person, you could have thought differently, maybe you could have acted differently, maybe you could have accepted um, your ex-husband or your ex-boyfriend or you, you shouldn't have um, quit that job. And you feel guilty now because your situation is like financially horrible you need to let go of that there's nothing you can do about it you need to let go of the guilt accept the situation for what it is this is what i am in know what i can do about it so stop feeling guilty number two i put here let go of them yes the people you are letting go of the feeling of guilt. Now, I want you to make a decision to let go of the people. You are holding a lot of people that you think that they are in your prison. You have, you can put all the names together if you want to. My dad did this to me. My brother did this to me. My teacher did this to me. It was like the same thing that I said before. All the people that did to, that to you, I would suggest that you make a list of all the people that you have wronged or they have wronged you. And let it go. Forgive them and forgive yourself. Let it go. Let them go. You know, they have people that are dead. And I know this person that I was coaching. And um, she had so much intensity of hating this person. But she did not know that they were dead. And she hated them and she hated them and she could not live. And when she would go to the mall, she saw somebody that looked like him. And she would go to church and she saw somebody that looked like him. And she would go to a conference and somebody said something that he said. And constantly she just had this hate and hate and hate in her heart. And then later she found out that this person died. And before they died, they became a great person. That person died and the people were talking about this man as being so loving, so wonderful. What a blessing to have him around. The same man that this person hated. And that person was just feeling more anger and more hate and ah! they could not understand why, why he should have hurt 
He should have suffered the, all of that. That was hard. Because their hate was so big that there was no room for forgiveness. So let go of hate. That's number three. Forgiveness is not a feeling. Forgiveness is a decision that you must make. I repeat, forgiveness is not a feeling. Forgiveness is a decision that you must make. And if you don't make that decision to forgive, you are always going to live in the past. Always. No matter what you do, the past is going to eat you up. You're not going to be able to have good relationships. You're not going to be able to enjoy love. You're not going to be able to enjoy success, even if you might be successful. You're not going to understand it. Because it doesn't matter how much money you have in the bank, you will not feel it. It doesn't matter how many people love you, you would not enjoy it. It doesn't matter what you do, you will not be able to live it because of your hate and anger and resentment. You just have to forgive. Give yourself permission to live, to enjoy. Stop living in a prison that you have created for yourself. Take the key of decision and unlock. Unlock forgiveness, unlock hate, unlock it. Let it go. Set it free. And allow forgiveness to rule in your life. Anyway, this is the message I have for you today. Don't forget that every week, if God allows, I am here at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on Thursday, bringing you different speakers and coaches to be able to help you to grow, 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 crecer, crecer, crecer. And in Spanish on Tuesdays, with different speakers and experts to be able to help you crecer, crecer, crecer. So if you are an expert in a particular area and you would like to be part of the show, don't forget to get in touch with us. And if you are a sponsor and you would like us to present your topic on our show, you would like to be able to, for us to share your work, your services, your product with our group, with our audience, then get in touch with us to info at envivoassociate.com. Again, that is info at envivoassociate.com. And for now, ta-ta. At Zima, you get high quality services for less than your monthly cell phone bill. It's perfect for individuals who do not have health insurance or who have a high deductible in their health insurance plan. Prompt and same-day appointments for sick visits. Unlimited office sick visits without a copay. Your satisfaction is our only objective, so please don't hesitate to contact us and let us show you all the amazing options we have for you. ¿Quién no se equivoca? Humans make mistakes, porque recordemos que todos somos humanos.